Salam everyone, here we are again with a new English lesson that you can find in your book focus, pages 84, 85. Today it's a grammar lesson. The objective is use the form be going to appropriately. So, let's get started. So, in uh, our last lesson, uh, we remember that we can ask and answer about future plans using the present continuous. We saw this table and we saw this example. The example was, what are you doing on Saturday morning? The answer, I'm playing chess. In the question, the verb is do in the present continuous form. And in the answer, the verb is play in the present continuous form. Of course, talking about future plans. Okay. Here is another way to talk about future plans. We can say in the question, instead of what are you doing on Saturday morning, we can say what are you going to do? on Saturday morning. What are you going to do on Saturday morning? And in the answer, instead of saying, I'm playing chess, we can say, I'm going to play chess. I'm going to play chess. Clear? And here are two other examples using this form, be going to here, here is uh, the first example. On Saturday afternoon, I'm going to eat out. On Saturday afternoon, I'm going to eat out. The other example, on Sunday evening, I'm going to read a story. On Saturday, or sorry, on Sunday evening, I'm going to read a story. Clear this form, going to well let's move and practice further okay okay here we are no longer talking about our future plans but we're talking about other people's future plans here we have uh, uh, George, George's next week plans and Hassan's next week's plans. So George, we have Monday, watch TV. Tuesday, read a book. Wednesday, play tennis. Thursday, play chess. Friday, go to a disco. Saturday, play football. And Sunday, stay at home. For Hassan, Monday, write a letter. Tuesday, go to a cyber cafe. Wednesday, watch TV. Thursday, draw pictures. Friday, pray in the mosque. Saturday, visit relatives. And Sunday, play football. And here, I've given you three examples and I need you to help me with the three others okay so for the first question is George going to play chess on Tuesday the answer is no he isn't he isn't going to play chess for number three now 
Are George and Hassan going to play football on Sunday? Uh, the answer is yes, Hassan is going to play football, but George isn't going to play football. Clear? For number four, what is George going to do on Friday? The answer on Friday, George is going to go to a disco. Okay? Well, let's do the three remaining ones together. For number two now, is Hassan going to pray in the mosque on Sunday? What's the answer? Great. No, he isn't. He isn't going to pray in the mosque. Good. Well, let's move to number five. What is Hassan going to do on Thursday? The answer, on Thursday, Hassan is going to draw pictures. Excellent. Well, let's move to the last one. What are George and Hassan going to do on Saturday? Excellent. So, your answer, on Saturday, George is going to play football. And Hassan is going to visit relatives. Good job. Let's move then. And here is another use of the form be going to. Look at the picture and the example. So, the dog is going to catch the mailman. The dog is going to catch him. Okay, let's try to do the others together. Now, have a look at the picture with the school bus and the children. What is the answer? Good job. They are going to miss the bus. They are going to miss the bus. Move now to the picture with the man fighting and the boats. So, yes, the boats are going to sink. The boats are going to sink. Good job. The last one, <clears throat> sorry, he is going to fall. We're good. He is going to fall. So here, in these examples, we are no longer talking about future plans. Here, in fact, we're talking about predictions. Predictions. Okay, everyone? Well, let's move then. Well, for the homework, my students, I'd like you to complete exercise number four, page 85, okay? Well, please remember that going to can be used for plans and can be used for predictions. Goodbye.